On this week's episode, hear when and where you can check out the Corvallis Youth Symphony. And also, stay tuned to check out what our bombshell correspondents were up to this week, only on Bombshell, bombshell Music News. Hey there all you music fans, welcome to this week's episode of Bombshell Music News on the one and only KBVR. I'm Courtney Cosette. And I'm Camille Field. And we're your Bombshell hosts, here to give you the latest news on all things music in Oregon and the Pacific Northwest. Our Bombshell correspondent, Nicole Knutson, caught up with some fellow students and local musicians this weekend. Let's hear all about it. This is a cover called Falling Slowly by Glenn Hansard. Yeah, we don't really have a band name, but like Jason Raz and all these people, Josh Garrels, they all have names like that are self-titled, so they don't really have band names. So we just call, I guess, ourselves as just Jesse Barnes. Like, I write songs, and like these are two of my best friends and most talented people I know. So I decided to team up with them, and it's a blast. My name is Jordan Melby. My friends call me Melby, and also Jordan. I play guitar in this band, and I really enjoy it. <laughs> My name's Jesse Barnes, people just call me Jesse. And uh, I'm the lead vocalist, and I play guitar. I'm Jill, and um, I play violin and keys and background vocals. on campus at Oregon State called Real Life and we've been a part of that like each since our freshman year but I'm a senior this year. I'm a junior this year. I'm also a senior. I don't. But yeah so we we met our freshman year and ever since then like we're, we click more as like friends and that's I guess what got us hanging out more and we started playing music together and it just all meshed together pretty well. I have, I've been playing guitar for about eight years. I, I've always had a fascination with it. My uncles played guitar, they were in a hard rock band. So I don't know, I grew up thinking that was cool. And yeah, so I just started playing guitar in eighth grade. Uh, when I was like seven or eight, I started doing violin and piano. And um, then I guess three years ago when I moved to Corvallis, I started doing um, music with Jesse and just kind of been doing. It's very different because I did like classical music for a long time, but um, so I've been doing music with Jesse for like the last three years. And I uh, took 13 years of piano lessons, and so picking up the guitar five years ago, my freshman year, was came like really natural to me. So five years ago, I picked up the guitar and took off with it, and now I play guitar and piano. Our style, like we listen to a lot of like Civil Wars. Adele, we, we really respect and like admire her. Ray Lamonte. Yeah. Ray Lamonte. Yeah, rocks. Huge. Yeah. Um, yeah, so like I guess more like alternative acoustic. It's like our, our like influences, I guess. And uh, the violin adds a huge dynamic to it. It fills a lot of like empty spaces in the songs and like makes it more, I guess, dreamy, I guess. Um, yeah, so. I think that like it adds an amazing dynamic to the to the music with Jill being there and especially her vocals as well. Gives me a lot more confidence too, so I really appreciate having her do her thing. So my major is civil engineering. I'm also currently doing research, and it's it's really hard, but I make it happen to go home and play my guitar, my amp, um, probably drive my neighbors roommate's crazy because I'm I'll be playing late just just so I could get that fix <laughs> if you will um, but I, 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 yeah it's it's been pretty hard for me <laughs> we do write our own music um, I don't know where I write is 
it's really like different. It's like weird when inspiration will come. Like either we'll come up, like we'll just be jamming sometimes and we'll come up with a melody. And I'll, I've already written lyrics to a previous song that I didn't really like with that certain melody and I'll just save those lyrics for another time. And I'll maybe add it to that melody we come up with, the current one, while we're just jamming. And uh, we'll just, it'll just come together. Um, sometimes it takes a while for me to write a song and sometimes it takes half an hour and like if that's the way writing goes we get inspiration from like our creator we believe in God and Jesus came down and we just get in for like to like save us all we just get inspiration from like from that like our faith in Jesus and we also get like inspiration from just everyday things from our stories that we've lived through and other people's stories I think is another huge one I love hearing um, older people's stories like of things that they've gone through No. <laughs> I honestly, yeah, we're not really sure yet. We love doing music together, and um, I mean, we would definitely hope to play more shows and stuff, but for now, we're just kind of taking it as it comes and mm -hmm. seeing what happens next. On Thursday, March 22nd at Cloud9 at 8.30 p.m., we are opening for Josh Carroll's, so you guys should all try and make it out. It's going to be a lot of fun. My name's Jesse Barnes, thanks for watching. More music news. Coming up. That was awesome. Now don't move a muscle because we'll be back in two with more music news. Thanks for sticking with us. You can relax because we're back with the latest music news. Attention jazz lovers, tonight, Friday, March 9th at 8 p.m., pianist and jazz singer Joanne Trzinski will be taking the stage at Fireworks Restaurant. Known as Miss T to her fans, Joanne has become a new Northwest up-and-coming favorite. She has performed mainly around the Willamette Valley for the past two years, often at the numerous wineries the area is famous for. According to her Facebook page, quote, she brings a touch of her back east urban roots to the Willamette Valley, end quote. Her debut album, White Shirt, Black Suit, was released last year along with numerous other jazz musicians and even some relatives. Take one listen to her song, Oregon Rain, and it is clear just how soothing yet sophisticated her sound is. The tinkling piano and her calm voice truly do sound like raindrops. Joanne recently made a post on her Facebook page promoting her upcoming fireworks show by claiming, quote, I will be performing some new and some original jazz compositions as well as some of my favorite standards, end quote. So if you are in the mood for relaxing and enjoying some exquisite and acoustic jazz along with a cozy and warm environment, head down to Fireworks Restaurant in Southtown Corvallis this evening by 8 p.m. If you miss this opportunity, you can purchase Miss T's first CD at cdbaby.com or digstation.com. The Oregon State University Theater presents The Sugar Wife by Elizabeth Cuddy coming this weekend, March 9th and 10th, starting at 7.30 p.m. And if you can't make either of the evening shows, they have a special performance on Sunday, March 11th at 2 p.m. All performances will take place at Withacombe Hall Main Stage Theater. You can purchase your tickets at the link below. The Sugar Wife is a play about love, lust, and prostitution and slavery following a devout Quaker, her wealthy husband, a freed American slaver, and her emancipator who all come together in 1840s Dublin. 
While we have heard of Oregon State's very own Haley Johnson's recent time spent on American Idol, there is another native Oregonian climbing the ranks in a national music competition. Justin Hopkins, originally from Tigard, Oregon, is currently one of the top 48 finalists on NBC's The Voice. The show is known for its blind auditions in which contestants perform to four top singer judges who have their backs turned to them. Only after one of the judges picks the voice they want on their team are they introduced to the singer face to face. After performing David Gray's Babylon in the blind audition, Hopkins was talented enough to be chosen by CeeLo Green to be on his team. However, Hopkins' musical career hasn't always been so easy. In his interview for The Voice, he claimed that he started singing while attending college at the University of Oregon at local coffee shops, and then at 23 years old became a professional who moved to LA in search of stardom. In addition to his singing and songwriting, Hopkins has also learned to play guitar, piano, bass, and drums. According to wetpaint.com, he played in the Carson Daly house band for a few years and then found success in Sweden, where he had a single reach up to number 12 on the charts. The irony of his playing for Carson Daly is that he is the host of The Voice and encouraged Hopkins to try out. The 31-year-old is married with a daughter and has now settled down in Redondo Beach, California. Everything soon could change, however, as this folk-like and soulful singer continued on to the battle rounds this Monday, March 5th. Hopkins was faced with a sing-off with another contestant to show off his talent. Be sure to cheer on this native Oregonian by catching The Voice, Monday nights at 8 p.m. on NBC. Classical Cabaret Goes Broadway on Saturday, March 10th at the CH2M Hill Alumni Center. Here is a chance to allow these young, talented musicians to entertain you with popular selections from The Sound of Music, Chicago, My Fair Lady, and many more. The Corvallis Youth Symphony Association is a nonprofit organization de dedicated to providing youth with opportunities for exceptional musical experiences. The Corvallis Youth Symphony, or CYS, was founded in 1982 by Charles Creighton. Beginning that year with only 44 students from two local high schools, CYS has grown since over to 70 students with three counties, eight elementary schools, eight middle schools, seven high schools, and students from local homeschool community. For 29 years, this association, staff, and volunteer board of directors have worked to offer family-friendly classical music concerts with a variety of musicians ranging from third grade to high school age youth. The conductor, Charles Creighton, selects standard classical repertoire which will challenge and inspire students. Several times a year, sectional rehearsals are held, and for these rehearsals, professional musicians from organ orchestras and faculty from area musical schools are brought in to coach the students. There will be a pre-cabaret dinner and oral auction starting at 5 p.m. with tickets at $95 a piece. Or you can also enjoy dancing and dessert starting at 8 p.m. with music provided by Opus 7. Tickets can be purchased online. If you're looking to enjoy some more fine jazz while supporting a great cause that helps keep the music alive, be sure to attend the newest Corvallis OSU Symphony Show tonight, Friday, March 9th at 8 p.m. The benefit concert will feature internationally acclaimed jazz singer and songwriter, as well as Corvallis native, Howie Lauren, who will head the orchestra while Rob Birdwell will conduct. The proceeds raised from the concert will go towards the Corvallis OSU Symphony Society Student Musician Scholarship Fund. The show will take place at LaSalle Stewart Center and reserve tickets range anywhere from $20 to $40. Be sure to get them at cosusymphony.org, Grassroots Books and Music, or Grace Wins Music. According to the show's flyer, OSU's male a cappella group, Outspoken, will be performing in the lobby at 7.30 p.m. just prior to showtime, so be sure to get there early. Don't turn that dial, because we'll be right back with more music news after a short break. Welcome back, music addicts. I know you're dying for some music news. Now to tell you about this week's must-see events, Patrick Mick.
Oh, hello, Corvallis. Fancy meeting you here. Tonight, Friday, March 9th at 7 p.m., Too Short will be having a benefit concert for the late OSU football player Fred Thompson at the Corvallis Fairgrounds. General admission is $15, and tickets for a meet and greet with Too Short himself is $35. Or if you're low on cash at the same time, you can see Danny Christ, Eric Anarchy, Lucky Strangers, and JTT at Innerzone. Also playing on Friday is the Coin of the Realm Orchestra, a gypsy folk group who is returning to the 2nd Street Beanery in Corvallis at 8 p.m. Bombs Away will be ha hosting a show with Water and Bodies plus Fjords, while Cloud9 will be hosting the Kevin Patton Trio, who bring a futuristic twist to jazz music. On Saturday, March 10th, at 5 p.m., you can see the Corvallis Youth Symphony Classical Carburets show, Go to Broadway, at the Alumni Center. Further into the night, 8 p.m., you can see Gumbo Americana at the 2nd Street Beanery, while Cloud9 will be having a rock and roll session with Triakis the Lucky Strangers, and Mike Thomas. Sunday lacks variety, but good old fireworks will be sure to bring something awesome your way as they host the Infallible Collective at 8 p.m. I'm Patrick Mick. And that wasn't water. Well, that's all the music news we have for you this week, Corvallis. But be sure to tune in next term for all new interviews, stories, and of course, to see us. See you guys later.